Oh, we're live. Says I'm live right here. Hey, hey everyone. Sorry, I was a little late. Um, let me show you something here. Got a nice moist downpour going on here in the Rockies with some uh, lightning and thunder. So I thought, uh, well, we always have the garage. It's not pretty, but we can definitely do a little workout in here. Uh, thanks for joining me, by the way. I'm going to set this up right now. Let's see here. I'm going to turn this way. Make sure you're checked in below. It's Coach V for these live workouts all summer long on the Sean Vig Fitness. Ooh, I'm getting rain on my back. <laughs> Sean Vig Fitness um, YouTube channel. By the way, can you hear me all right? I had to flip the camera around, but I'm going to wear the AirPods today to make sure that um, you can hear me better. Uh, we did the live workout last Thursday, and when I got a little further away from the camera, it was uh, got kind of quiet. But I was sorry, I'm about two minutes late. I had to sweep out the garage. I'm used to just going out on the deck and starting the film. But here we are, live workouts, and stay uh, stay after class too. I want to do a post chat, post class chat with you. I'll flip the camera around then, and. These videos, the live ones, always upload to my YouTube channel afterwards. So you can do them live with me or do them later on uh, all summer long. And put your requests below for other workouts or just please check in below, right below, and leave your comments on the screen also. Okay, as I said, today we're going to do eight classic Pilates ab exercises. I've mentioned a number of times that I'm working on my Next paperback, which is Pilates for Athletes. So I've been writing feverishly the exercises, descriptions, benefits, key points. And I want to share some of those with you. We'll break them down a little bit. We'll go right through them. So starting with number one, I'm sitting, laying here on the tread in the garage. Hope you can see me okay. I'm just going to go, and then afterwards I'll flip the camera around and see what happens kind of how it goes. Let's start with the Pilates 100. We're going to breathe in the nose and out the mouth. Come on down onto your back. We're going to build some core stability, a lot of breath, a lot of control. Legs to tabletop, reach the arms forward, palms facing down, shoulders back and down. You can also take the legs out, pointing the feet, zipping up the legs. Let's pump the arms 100 times, breathing in for five and out for five. Here we go. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight. Last set, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it right here. Zip up the legs. This is called Pilates stance. You're squeezing the legs together, pointing the feet, working the insides of the legs. Core stability. Hold it right here. You're resisting change. You're stabilizing against that movement of the arms. Let's move into one leg circles. Right leg up, left leg down, or place the foot flat. Your lower back is imprinted. Head can be down or head and shoulders off the mat, fingers back of the head. This leg, let's circle it to the right, but the size of a Frisbee. We're going to circle around, inhale, exhale at 12 o'clock, pause, and then continue. Ten times. Here's two. Bend the knee to modify. Three. But you're stabilizing again. Down here. Four. Oh, my counting. Five. I have to focus on the counting. Six. Seven, eight, what do you think of my garage? Isn't this beautiful? And nine and 10, stretch that leg towards you. Get some nice lift. You're gonna feel some shaking in the back of the leg. That's good. Stretching the calves and the hamstrings. Now 10 times to the left. Inhale, exhale, one, or arms to the side. Two, three, or leg off the mat. Four, five. In my book, I'm doing all sorts of add-ons. So you can keep progressing and progressing and progressing. There's always something more to keep us challenged, to keep us building. One more time, stretch that leg. And let's do single circles, leg circles on the other side. Left leg up, right leg out. Lower back is imprinted. 
Hands here, head down, or hands under the hips. To the left, 10 times. Inhale, exhale. Two, three, four. There we go. Five, six. I hope, oh, there goes the light. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Other direction. All around. One. Two, might have to get some lights down here. Three, but I wore blue. Four, you can see me. I pop. Five, six. There we go. Seven and eight. Two more times. Stir that peanut butter. Total control in every movement. Stretch that leg towards you. Oh, long stretch. Here's a little extra credit. Stretch, single straight leg stretch. Ten times. Let's just pull. This is extra credit, not included. Four. Five, batteries not included. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's transition seamlessly into the saw. Heels, I'm going to keep my heels on the mat because there's some stuff. I swept a lot, but I missed some. <laughs> I have to have a crew. Ten times, arms out. Twist, two pulses, pinky finger, pinky toe. Pulse, pulse, reach. Inhale, lift, lift, tall, 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 twist, pulse, pulse. My dear dad's favorite, favorite exercise, the saw. Three, and pulse, pulse. Pull the abdominals in as you dive forward. Belly button to the spine. Up, 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 twist, pulse, pulse. All right, we're going to 10. I'm going to do two more for good measure. Two more. If a mouse runs across the floor, that's part of the blooper reel. Okay, come on up. A few shoulder rolls. All right. Shake out the arms. Shake out the legs. Great rotational power and force being built in the saw. We're going to come down into one leg stretch. One leg stretch. That's a classic name. Draw that right knee in. We're going to pull it in to your chest and towards your face. So you inhale, switch, and pull. Lengthen that other leg away. Get that long stretch. We want negative stretching all the time. Let's do 10. Inhale, exhale. In the nose and out the mouth. Three. Four. Work the arms and shoulders too. Five. Six. Point the feet. Seven. Eight, two more, slow it down. No, 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 nine, long stretch. <gasps> One more time. It's dynamic stretching, stretching through the whole movement. Okay, knees into the chest. We're going to double leg stretch, double leg stretch. <sighs> all right. Look at all the spiders. <sighs> Both knees in, head and shoulders off the mat. How you doing? Now take with the inhale through the nose, extend the legs out, arms to the sides, and then pull tight. Inhale, head can also be down, and squeeze into the center. This is the stretch right here. It's going to trigger a nice response in your back as well. Let's do six more. You also have the option to take the arms overhead. Inhale, exhale. One, two, fluid movement, fluid Three, total control. Four, you should be able to inspire people that they don't even have to hear you. They just watch your movement and they think, I want to move like that person. I'm going to do one more for extra credit. We're going to come out, hold. Now circle, 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 circle. Pull the knees in. Oh, grab that stretch. Grab that stretch. Okay. Drop the legs side to side. This is extra credit. Windshield wipers. Windshield wipers, great for keeping the lower back nice and loose, nice and limber, opening up the spine. Can you hear me? I don't. <laughs> this is only the second live video. So the you know, first few, there's some kinks. We'll just work through them. And of course, you can't stop the weather. You can't uh, control it with my filming. So we're kind of at the mercy of our weather. But thank God for garages. All right, our this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Our sixth exercise called the double kick. 
it's on my top list, maybe top 10 Pilates exercises. All right, pinch it up. Come on down onto your stomach. Bring your cheek down. Hope I don't knock the AirPods out of my ear. Hands to the back, elbows to the outside. Really working on spinal flexibility, working the back muscles at a nice rhythm. You're going to pulse, pulse, lace the fingers together, lift up. I want that spine to get some flexibility as you, as you come up. Get that pebble off my mat. Get that corner on my face. All right, other side. That's for Stefan. Kick, kick. Inhale, lift. Let's get the breathing. Exhale, exhale. Inhale, in the nose, out the mouth. Let's do six more. <sighs> lift. Oh, feel that strength. Feel that posture. The body aligns itself. Working as one. Good. Three more times. And lift. And once more. Up we go. Extra breath. Lift a little higher. Feel that stretch in the back. Okay. Now, I'm going to teach the boomerang. Boomerang is definitely a more advanced Pilates exercise. So with that being said, if you don't want to do the boomerang, you don't have to do it. We always have a half boat. You can have your feet flat, take your shoulders back, hold right here, or with the feet right out from the knees. The weight shifts to the abdominals. We can hold this pose right here. I mean, since there, my bike is over there, you could bicycle the legs and work your way up to the boomerang. I don't teach it all the time because it's pretty, it's more complex. I enjoy doing it, but I've been practicing it for many years. Boomerang, baby. All right. Right leg over the left leg. I think that was an Eddie Murphy movie. I never saw it. Nothing is better than Training Places or Beverly Hills Cop. All right. Right leg over the left. Shoulders back and down. Let's stretch forward. Long stretch to start. Make sure I got enough room. We're going to rise up. Take the hands. <laughs> Hands under the shoulders, tuck the chin, rolling down, massaging the spine. The legs are going to lift up and over. I might hit the trash can. Now open, close, switch. Now we're going to roll up into boat pose. Use the hands for support if you like, but massage that spine like a wheel. We're going to roll up. Woo! Legs extend, arms up, and then drop down. There's a few little nuances here to keep it spicy. I like to lace the fingers behind me in that mudra. That's the yoga instructor in me too, always adding those binds and then stretch forward. All right, that's a little breakdown of it. Your spine is like a wheel when you roll on it. Let's put it together. Let's do four repetitions. Here we go. Up, up and over. Inhale here, exhale, rise up. I like to take my hands off the mat, something I'm working on. Uh, you can work up to that too. And then stretch. Three more. Mm -hmm. Rolling up. Exhale. Wait, I'll do the breath for you too. Exhale forward. Take an inhale. And then exhale. This will definitely be in the Pilates for Athletes book. Two more times. Exhale back. Inhale. Squeeze the legs together. Flex them. Roll up. Total control with the exhale and then forward. There is not a moment of these Pilates exercises that ever, ever escape your control. You must work for precision, control, and weightlessness. Down. <laughs> All right, here we go. Massage. Use the core, abdominals, lower back, hips, and glutes as your guide. There we go. Excellent, my friend. Excellent. Check in below. Always check in below. Welcome to a live workout here at the Sean Vig Fitness Channel. And don't worry, this workout will be uploaded onto the channel. All right, the final exercise today, exercise number eight, is Pilates push ups. Can everyone see me? Well, I don't know why I'm asking. I can't see the screen. Anyway, come to the back edge of your mat. We're going to do, let's do six of these. Back edge of the mat. I might go off camera, but I'm still here. I didn't separate from my body. You're going to reach up. Touch this. Wow, I can touch a ceiling. I'm only 5'9". I'm touching ceilings. Pull the arms back and down. Let's dive into forward fold. Deep stretch. Switch the cap. Always wear the I sweat a lot. And my hair poofs out. Now walk out. You have plank 
Or you can do th one to three push-ups. Elbows are in. These are tricep push-ups. So down, up. Try to brush your chest on the mat. <sighs> Definitely takes out momentum. And then walk back. Rise up. Back bend. Cactus arms. Let's do five more. Dive down. Unwind the spine. Get that, that huge spinal decompression. Out. <sighs> down. Boom. Down. Boom. Walk back. Find your speed. Find your posture. Four more times. Inhale down, exhale up. Good. How you doing? What do you think of these Pilates exercises? Is this your first time doing Pilates? Have you been doing Pilates with me for a while? You can always type in Sean Vig and Pilates online, and we can train together all the time. <laughs> Damn it, I talk so much. I'm going to do two more. Maybe that's six. I might do an extra one, but I always do a little extra. That's okay. Heels down, smush them down, rise up. Woo, adjust the pants. <laughs> Cactus arms, pull the arms back. I just taught my power yoga core class, and we did a lot of cactus arms in different poses. Last time, two, three, walk it back, rising up, and that is, boom, eight, eight exercises, eight Pilates exercises. These are classic ones, meaning that they are from the original 34 Pilates exercises that Joseph Pilates created. All right, I'm going to come over to the camera now. You can go in a child's pose if you like. I'm going to come over to the camera. I'm going to turn around so we can see what the heck's going on here. But first, enjoy this wonderful summer scene here. Look at that. You might recognize right out there, filmed a lot of workouts, got caught streaking. There's one of my wood piles. I like to uh, chop wood myself. I've actually, that tree right there, I took down with a little handsaw. I, I don't, I got to get a chainsaw, but I really like using little handsaws. <laughs> and my dad, God bless him, he painted that wheelbarrow, that nice bright red one there. Well, like, like all the other wheelbarrows, there's that one. All right, my friends, let's flip the camera around here so we can, little post class. Whoops. Oh, okay, there we go. A little post-class discussion here. And uh, you can you can look at my garage a little bit more. So yeah, anything you want to say, just flash it on the screen. Hopefully it's appropriate. Uh, I'm going to sit down here. This is, oh, look at, look at this. Don't wear black. You get all sorts of stuff on it. All right, well, hope you enjoyed that workout. This is live workout number two here. I think we just take the cap off. Hair is a little flat today, but it's okay. And um, as I said, this video will go on to the, my YouTube channel. Thursday, it's every Tuesday and Thursday this summer. Thursday, uh, it's always at noon central time. I'm going to do a yoga flow, but also adding optional bands, like stretchy bands. I've been experimenting with that lately. I've been enjoying that. There goes the garbage truck. And it really can add an extra stretch to a lot of your exercises. So I guess that's all I had to say. A workout request, put them below. Uh, could anyone hear me? I don't know. You're the best. Thanks, Ida. Can you hear me? I got these AirPods in. As my friend Stefan said, I saw him on here a little bit ago. said it's a game changer. Do you have any regular live times? This is fun. Well, yes, Diane. Every Tuesday and Thursday, noon central time. And as I said last time, I enjoyed it so much. You can hear me. Good. Go get a beer from the fridge. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Can you still hear me if I watch well, a good test? Can you hear me if I walk all the way over here? Uh, here we go. I won't drink the beer now. Maybe I'll have it later. Actually, I brought my um, coffee down here with my favorite cup. There's Addie and I. Okay, but 
Stella Artois. I used to drink that at Epcot, get that at, in England at Epcot, the World Showcase. Oh, what was I saying? So I was playing two times a week for live workouts. I did the trial one last Thursday, and I, I enjoyed it so much that if this continues to go well, the second one, maybe we'll do a five-day series or a seven-day series during the summer. With the exception of today, the weather is usually pretty nice. I do love the rain, but I don't want to film in it when it's lightning. Thanks. Sweating in my garage, too. Game of, Th Game of Thrones is here. AirPods are much better. Good. Motley Zen is, well, I won't give away who you really are, but I know the guy, and he's very helpful. Mm. Cold coffee. So, it, uh, and <laughs> in what state do you live? I'm somewhere in Colorado. Not Colorado, but Colorado. Say with ah, like Nevada, Nevada. <clears throat> I was going to say something profound in these messages. If you have any, anything to say, flash it up there. Um, I'm not doing any on there, and maybe if I do a um, one about books, I'm reading, reading a lot of different books, a lot of philosophy books lately, so I might bring those on here, but on here. But all of my pre record videos, and I'm still doing them about every day, are going into Sean's Vault, which is my online training program. That's Sean'sVault.com. You can try it free for 14 days, cancel anytime. So that's where those are going. What advice? give to a new fitness YouTuber. Is that Becky? Man, the, the, you know, they flash on the screen and they go away. A uh, new YouTuber for fitness. Fitness is a huge industry. It's fantastic. Depends on what kind of fitness you're doing. I've done some videos on this. I've spoken about this in podcasts. And I, I, my advice to you is film the kind of workout that you love the most, that gets you, that you're most inspired by, gets you the most charged up. Do that. Put that out there. Because when I started doing videos, uh, I had my own way of doing them. I still do. And I thrive on being inspired by what I do, by the kind of workouts I do. I think if I wasn't, if I didn't believe what I was doing or if I was bored, it would show right away. Nobody would watch. It would just check out. So if you're a new fitness YouTuber, uh, film some videos you really like. Get a nice spot. I'd recommend going outside because, I mean, the garage, the garage is exciting, but I'd rather be out there. Get a nice backdrop. Have a good time with it. Be yourself because you can't imitate anybody else. I do what I do. You do what you do. And uh, film those workouts that really get you excited. Put them out there. And like everything in life, see what happens after that. Nothing's guaranteed, but you'll have a good time with the process. <clears throat> uh, bands and hand requests below. Oh, by the way, if you're on Instagram, I'm at Sean Vig Fitness. If you want to get short workouts, I post short workouts on there about every day. So check me out at Sean Vig Fitness on Instagram. And if you have any more questions, I recommended you to my son. There's so few men doing fitness on YouTube. Is there? Yeah, I, I think women, there's more women fitness YouTubers. But truthfully, I don't really watch many other people. How's Addy with uh, your new little guy? Addie's fantastic. Addie's upstairs in the loft right now because it's thundering. And I go up there and I hug her and then she just walks away from me. So I kind of leave her alone. She likes to stand. But Dane, uh, Dane and Addie get along fantastic. Where is Dane? Where is he? No, oh, he's upstairs with his nanny. Um, uh, Addie will come over and lick Dane's face a few times. It's very sweet. Is the video paused for anyone else? Did it pause? See, I'm down in the garage, so I don't know what kind of signal I have. It's not quite as strong as it was on the deck, but I still had two bars. But uh, Dane is very good with Addie. She, uh, no, Addie's very good with Dane. I'm sorry, I didn't get much. Speaking of Dane, Dane woke me up about 6 a.m. this morning crying, and he was hungry, and his mom was in the shower, and I wasn't supposed to uh, bring a bottle. So he woke me up about 45 minutes before my alarm went off, and my allergies are going a little bit. So... Uh, a little stuffy in the head. But Addie likes to lick Dane's face a lot. And the back of his head, which surprises Dane. He doesn't know what's going on. All right. Well, if there's not any more questions, I will see you on Thursday, noon central time. As I said, I want to do a yoga flow with optional bands, workout bands, resistance bands. Because I've been using those a lot lately in my workouts. And it adds a huge, huge um, deeper contraction and a much deeper stretch to the videos.
to the exercises. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I'm going to cut this off and I'll upload it to the channel just as soon as I can. I might grab a nap also. Thanks, Diane. And keep, you know, I want to, these live workouts, the more consistent I am with them, I've been posting about them, but I know I got to get them out there for a little longer so that people really know when they are. And I'd recommend getting a small group together and, and doing them with me. And you can post about it on Instagram and always tag me at Sean Vig Fitness. Post your group doing it, a photo, whatever it is. Because this beautiful technology here, I'm in a garage in Colorado and you're wherever you are, all over Develt, all over the world. And we can do some classic Pilates exercises together. And the more, if this becomes more and more successful, I definitely will consider adding more live workouts throughout the week. I'm late. You're not late, Jamie. Well, maybe you are. I was a couple minutes late, but I'll put this video on a little bit later. <sighs> I'd be really ready for you next time for sure. Okay, Ida. <laughs> uh, I think I think Thursday the forecast is about 78 and sunny, so I can be on the deck. See you Thursday. I'll try to get my dad to join me after. But oh, that'd be great, Matt. Yeah, I'll make sure on Thursday I add in some stretches also. And uh. And look at that grass out there. When Addie eats grass, she throws up, so I try to stop her all the time. Do you do weight training? You look pumped. Oh, thank you. I do do weight training. That's a question I get a lot. I do weight training about three times a week, but I'm always I'm always uh, changing it up. It's just weird. I'm looking at the camera, and there's my face. It's weird looking at myself. And so I do strength training. I do a lot of pull-ups. Uh, yeah, myself. And so I do strength training. I do a lot of pull-ups. Uh, yesterday, I did bench press and incline press. I don't bench like I used to. I used to lift. I used to lift a lot heavier. Now I kind of go to eh, almost to my threshold, right around there. But I do. I do recommend strength training. It's a great way to build muscle mass and bone density. What part of Colorado Boulder? No, I'm in the Evergreen area. I can't say too much. <laughs> uh, we're out. We're out in the boonies a little bit, um, on two acres out here in the woods. And about 45 minutes west of Denver. So if you're in the Denver area, a lot of people do this. They're visiting. Come up to Evergreen to Nick's Pro Fitness and take class with me there. You're a handsome. Oh, thanks, Ida. I, I don't feel hands. I feel like I got circles under my eyes. <laughs> thanks, Cody. But yeah, do do weight training. Do basic weight training. Do, do cross training. Add pull-ups. Add push-ups. Add goblet squats. Add bands. Add mountain climbers. Power yoga. Yep, in the foothills. I guess while well, we're in the front range, uh, I'm sitting at about 7,900 feet right now. Stefan says, call me. Feet right now. Stefan says, call me. Oh, that was a text. Well, but I'm doing the live. Where, oh, he's probably got a critique for me. Like, we'll do one of these, and he'll give me the, um, the ins and outs of what I'm doing. <laughs> and, hey, comment below. I say this all the time, but I guess it's a kick out of it. I say this all the time, but I guess it's a kick out of it. Let me know where you're from. Are you in the States? Let me know where you're from. Are you in the States? Are you in a different country? That's a mountain in my lips, too. Yeah, it does. Except we have about 30% less oxygen up here than we do, say, down in Wisconsin, where I'm going to, um, in a couple weeks, see my mom. So I'll be doing some live workouts from the La Crosse, Wisconsin area. And I'm also teaching a guest class at Ohana Yoga in West Salem, Wisconsin. I don't know if anyone's from that area. That's where I went to high school and grade school and stuff back there. But when I go home, I, I'm doing a class at Fort McCoy and also at Ohana Yoga Studios. You can catch me anywhere. Or maybe seeing me out filming at Veterans Park outside of West Salem. Portland, Oregon, USA. Yuma. Hey, Yuma's where they film a lot of Westerns. I think they film some of Tombstone there. Is that Flagstaff? That's New Mexico. Yuma's Arizona. I, I See, with these live videos, I've done some of these on Instagram. I'll just talk and talk and talk. I start rambling. So I will see you on Thursday, noon central time. Book market. La Crosse has a ski hill. It does. It has uh, Mount La Crosse. I think it's about that big. I never skied. I sledded. Sled? That'd be a nice place. To, oh, Norway. Hi, Diane. They're, they're flashing so quickly. Mid-80s in Florida today. Oh, 10 degrees cooler. Florida. Well, you know, I'm, I lived down in Florida for many years all over. Where in Florida? I bet I worked at a theater there. Yuma, most sunlight in the world. Very good. Yuma. 310 to Yuma. I just watched that movie, the remake with Russell Crowe. 
gets on the train to go to the 310 going to Yuma. They have to get him there. He's a prisoner. I'm thinking in these live workouts, maybe I'll talk about movies also. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do 10 more seconds. Ski poles behind you. Yes. Uh, my wife skis. Not this year, though. She was pregnant. Slam that beer. I am not affiliated with Stella Artois at all. I have never been to Belgium, but I have heard of it. And I have waffles sometimes. Okay, if I make it over to Europe again, I'll let you guys know. Maybe I'll do some master classes in Europe. Hmm. This coffee is freezing now. A little north of the Tampa area by the Mermaids. Is that Hudson? There's a Show Palace dinner theater up there. I never worked there, but I think they offered me a job once. My former life, I was in professional theater. Worked all over the country, mainly doing music theater, Did sung a lot of opera, and did a lot of um, non-musical shows, too. But it was regional theater that brought me down to Florida in 97. I worked a lot at Seaside Music Theater in Daytona Beach. That's gone now. And Actors Playhouse in Coral Gables. I um, worked in Fort Myers, the Broadway Palm, Alhambra in Jacksonville, Flor Hollywood uh, Playhouse. Yeah, all over Florida. So that's what brought me down there. Now I'm in Colorado. I don't know if anyone asked that question. Is anyone still listening? All right, I'm going to go get me some food. Were you in the movie Escape from... Yes! Stefan and I did a home video in school called Escape from the Nebraska Mountains. I can't play that. It's very politically incorrect. Actually, all the home videos, <laughs> they're all a little wild. Uh we did dress up in some of my sister sister's clothes, though. She could come home from work, and her clothes would be all over the living room. <laughs> What's he doing? So that's all I'll say about that. But I'll, I'll post maybe more and more of my home videos on my Instagram channel sometimes when I can. Hit the notif. Oh yes, hit the notification bell. Thank you, JB. That's something I keep forgetting to say. Hit the notification bell on your page wherever you're watching this from, so you get notifications when I go live, when I post a new video, because I. I know I have a lot of lot of subscribers on here, a lot, of people, but they just don't know. They don't know if it's coming out or not. So always hit that notification bell. I'm going to do some posts about that too. So thanks for reminding me of that. Hudson area, post some stills from your home videos. Okay. Well, stills. I think I'll just put videos on there. I've done a few. Is there anything else I want to say? Allergies today, a little stuffy. Anyone else have allergies? Is anyone out there in the color in the Denver area? Anybody? Because I wanted you to come to my new Pilates class at Nick's Pro Fitness Wednesday nights at 5.30. Uh, I think I'll go for a walk in a little bit. But I think we have rain the next couple days. I never talk about the weather, but I talk to my mom every day, and she loves to talk about the weather. If I say, oh, mom, it's raining, she'll always have to tell me her weather. She's in Wisconsin. Always has to tell me her weather. Is this, and also, I'll leave you with this last question. Is this shirt truthful? Or is it risque? Is it backwards? No, Pilates mocked me hard. That's the German connection. I, I was speaking German in my class this morning. I don't even think they pay attention. All right, everyone, thanks for joining me. I will see you on Thursday. Leave your comments below. Share it on. And next time on Thursday at noon central, have a group with. Uh, be ready on the mat. We're going to do a yoga stretch with some optional bands. That shirt is a lie. All right, my friends, God bless you. I'll see you. On Thursday at noon central. Thanks for watching. Keep commenting and you should.